just so you have an idea of the power and strength of this iguana, we had to put a camera on the catch pole just to show you guys. Here though, we are though. Rambo. <laughs> That's silly dog. Incredible. Hey, how's it going? Raj here. We're back doing some more iguana removal. We got some uh, storms coming out here in a little bit, so we gotta kind of work quick and do what we gotta do. Check that out right there. That's what we're after right now. Start of that breeding season, just like I told you. Now look at this right here. Big, nice female iguana came out to bask, eat some food. Look at that right there. End up catching her. But you see, they go, they go right up to the buildings, which is pretty shocking. They have all the trees and they have this whole canal. They have a nice sunny, sunny side over there full of grass. Why do they come over here? My guess is the asphalt and the concrete offers great heat structure so it's able to get him and as we're catching them i hear in the background just iguanas after iguanas just dive bombing into the water so i don't know what's going on right now but like i mentioned there's a storm coming up it's it's, it's going to be here in an hour right and when it's here it's going to be raining for five hours straight so let's chop chop we got a lot of work to do put him in the back let's go get another one Oh, iguanas all up in these trees. All up in those trees. This guy's so sick of Oh. Dude, he just went underneath the car. Oh, look at that big female. Yeah. Look at them. They're all just kind of hanging out. Mingle out here. She got tangled, tangled up. Nice. Yeah. Fantastic grab. Another nice female. That's a great start. And you know it's what a uh, interesting fact about the breeding season is. There's gonna be phases where there's gonna be a lot of females, and then there's gonna be phases where there's gonna be a lot of males only. So there's gonna be phases where only females come out, they're out doing, you know, whatever they're doing, and then there's gonna be phases where only the males are gonna be out trying to get their territory right. And then obviously there's gonna be a time where both male and female is gonna be out. That's gonna be breeding time. So we gotta catch them while it's the female time to come out. And then hopefully we prevent some of these girls from breeding. That's the whole goal. All right, I'm not quite sure if you can see that right there, but we do have an alpha. And we do have a big female right there. So they are coming down, look, look at him. Oh, you can't, he's, he's literally peeking right there. It's pretty big. Got a nice female right there. Let's go see if we can grab her right quick. Look at that bugger. Look at that bugger. Spicy, spicy, spicy. All right, you are not gonna believe it, all right? I literally just bagged that female I just caught for you guys, and I'm not even kidding. 30 seconds later, another female came in the same spot she was captured at. What does that tell you? What does that tell you? There's a huge, huge population 
out here in these trees. Okay, that iguana learned her lesson. You seen she was able to escape. Almost had her, almost did. Take a walk real quick and uh, we'll come back there. Hopefully there's more come back, but check this out. Yep, more iguanas. Go for a left-handed grab. Bobbing your head, buddy. Oh, God. Burning out. Another nice one. And all those curious, we get we get paid a bounty out here. So it's per iguana. And we have unlimited iguanas to catch, as you guys can see. So looks like we're going to have a... <laughs> pretty good month if we if uh we keep doing what we're doing out here unlimited bounty unlimited iguanas uh we're gonna bring some traps out here obviously there are a lot and the good thing is is these iguanas out here aren't afraid of people it, it, you know they're not super super scared usually iguanas you know as soon as they see you they take off but these guys mm, they give us a chance to catch them and yeah we don't have to use force out here like that if we can use the pole and be good great because here's the thing we're since we're getting paid bounty out here we shoot iguanas they run in the water guess what there goes our bounty iguana on the ground by the truck literally 20 seconds later let's go see if we can get them okay yeah three of them are right next to my truck like i don't know why I see him just hanging out right there. That's the nice fat female that went up the tree. She's fat. All right. Okay. <laughs> now we got a little bit of a situation right here. I'm going to put the camera down for a second. Two big fat female iguanas. That's excellent, guys. Yeah, unfortunately, we gotta pack our bags and go. We're gonna go to the other uh, complex right here. The big alpha, we were not able to apprehend him this time. He ended up uh, seeing what I was doing. He, uh, he climbed up the tree and he's out. Uh, it's like T minus 30 minutes before we have this thunderstorm coming. So we're gonna go check the other spot. Um, get whatever we can i think we got like five of them over here which is great and a lot of you guys are probably wondering like hey why don't you just bring out your gun and shoot them well here's the thing guys over here we have a no shooting iguana removal agreement so we can do anything with traps with catch poles but we cannot use air rifles out here even though it would make the job a lot easier but there are a lot of old residents here and we don't want to disturb the peace quote unquote so that being said, let's go check the other spot. See if there's any more of these silly iguanas. We got to put these guys in the bag. All right. So, all right, we're at the other section, and you're not gonna believe it, but guess who's back over there? A big bad alpha, big giant Charizard orange iguana, hanging out right there. We're gonna get our pole ready. Go see if we can grab him. He's monstrous. He's massive. All right. You don't believe me? Just watch. I'll show you him. You guys are seeing this, right? Just 
so you have an idea of the power and strength of this iguana, we had to put a camera on the catch pole just to show you guys. Wow. Look at that thing. That thing is massive. Look at this thing. Guys, I can guarantee you this camera right here is not giving it justice. Just how giant an alpha this iguana actually is. Look how orange he is. Look at his head, it's white. And those spikes, it's bright fluorescent orange, guys. It's sticking out like a sore thumb. These are the size of lizards out here in Florida. So thank you to everybody that subscribed to the channel, liked the videos, share. Also give me words of encouragement and help out our brothers and sisters. This one's for you guys right here. A giant, giant orange alpha iguana. To see a specimen like this in the wild, and to catch him is truly a blessing, guys. Look at this specimen right here. What we coming out here looking for, y'all. Taking out those females and the giant, big, orange alpha male. Incredible. Like I said, I want to I want to thank everybody for the blessed opportunity of me even being able to do this. Not only to help my state, but also to spread education, entertainment, and awareness to all you guys at home. Look at this right here. This is gonna end the hunt right here, y'all, the removal for the day. We do have those clouds coming in. And, you know, I mean, that speaks for itself right there. That is a giant, that is a giant iguana, guys. It's just, it's, you just really never know what to expect when you're out here in Florida iguana hunting with the iguana man. So if you wanna book a tour, it's super simple. Go ahead and send me an email. We have breeding season coming up. We have egg season coming up. And let's put some giant orange breeding iguanas in the bag all right just as predicted from the forecast we do have the rain thunderstorm coming in right now so we're gonna call it a day like i said god bless stay safe i'm gonna see you on the next video all right let's get ready for this breeding season make sure your notifications are on so you do not miss any of this action all right it's your friend roger the iguana man i gotta go i want to see you soon so subscribe with that bell on. Peace.